Hey guys, it's uh, me, Robert. Um, not screen printing today. What I'm doing is actually making a casting mold. <coughs> what I actually did is I took a set of grips that we're going to cast. <coughs> we're going to make a mold of these grips. Um, and it's just to save some casting resin when we're making grips. <clears throat> so what I did is I built a box and I just used corrugated plastic as you can see super glued all the seams super glued the grips down so they should hold and then what I'm going to do is <coughs> mix some silicone up this is a two part silicone it's a, th a 30 shore hardness and I'm going to mix it a one to one ratio and more or less just pour it over these and let it dry the cure time on it's about four hours when I'm done I'll demold it and pull them out and I'll have some grips so what I'm gonna do is go through what I'm doing and kind of give you a little idea of what the process is all I'm doing now is tearing tearing out my scales and we're measuring in grams right now I uh, used about a hundred grams there and so we're gonna put another hundred grams of the part B it's a two-part you got about a 20 minute work time 20 25 minute work time with it um, it is a translucent so what I will do also is put a little pigment in there this will make them pink When you put the pigment in, you want to put it in after you're mixing it. That's if you can get the pigment open. <laughs> this is a powder pigment. And the point of that is it just gives you something so you can see what you're actually doing make sure you clean all your stuff and just be careful should be wearing gloves this is actually a food safe uh, silicone Now you're going to want to start mixing it. And stirring it. Didn't have no stirring stick, so literally I am using a butter knife. You want to try to avoid beating air bubbles into it. You just want the product to mix actually this one's not a powder it's actually a paste we've had powder before all I'm gonna do is just literally scrape some of it in you don't need a lot a little goes a long way and as you can see it really adds to the color
you just want to make sure it's all mixed thoroughly. You don't want to see any voids in the color. And I'm going to continue to mix this for a few minutes. Okay, we're back now. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pour my silicone. And you just want to let it pour pretty much itself. You want it to break any of its own air bubbles that it's going to trap in there. You want it to make its way over its, the object all by itself. That is all you do. As you can see, there's air bubbles coming out because there was air underneath these grips. You can actually try to agitate it to get some of the air bubbles out. They're going to work their way out pretty much on their own. You can put it in a pressure pot or vacuum pot. This casting or this mixture needs to set up for four hours. It looks a little translucent. Um, some of it is the pigment that we have in it. It's not really bright. And some of it is just the resin itself or the silicone. But what we'll do now, we'll just let it sit and then we'll come back in four hours and demold them and show you what they look like. Okay, this is it after the four hours. Um, and now here comes the task of unmolding it. And all I'm doing is actually... Just peeling back all the stuff that's holding the sides on. As you can see, there's the mold. And it went all the way around underneath the grips. So what I'm going to do, some of this will just roll right back. But around these holes, I'm going to have to actually score them a little bit because these holes are actually indicator holes. So I'm going to score them so that they'll hold there while I pull the rest out. Okay, now all I'm going to do is just kind of work them out. Little by little.
that's one out. And I'm going to do literally just the same with the other one. And there you go. That's how you slide them out. And then the super glue that I put on the back to hold these. Or not super glue, but hot glue. Will peel right back off. So these grips are actually good to use again. And then this mold is ready to be used also. So now what I can do is actually cast it. And by having these plugs in there, you can see the detail. Let me try to get a better angle. See that the details in there? That is the recesses in it. So what you can do now is you can just pour them. It will fill up to this height. And then you can pop it out and you can do some more castings with the two-part epoxies. Um, these patterns. The advantage of going with a mold like this, it's less finishing you're going to have to do when you're all said and done. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave some questions below and I'll try to answer them. If you have any questions, shoot me an email and please hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks again.